got what happened to mm. Shimmer? What happened to Shimmer? I've been dying to ask for years, blood. Shim, this Shim, is the thing, like Shim, oh, Shimmer right now. If Shimmer calls me right now, like Shimmer called me, he called me about a month ago. I can't even call it Shima. Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman called me a month ago. Okay. He me. And he was sitting, when he called me, he was sitting in the biggest library in Mecca studying. And he just, he's like, yo, I've got to be quiet, but let me show you around. But he showed me the, he showed me the library inside, like one of the biggest libraries inside Mecca where everyone's studying. Fam. I was like, yo, that looks crazy. It's got beautiful, bro. He's like, bro, I've got to be quiet. We see in here. This place is blessed, man. And he took he took me, went outside the um basically when Shimmer, after that look, after Shimmer did that Westwood set, he got off the set, he called me the next day, and he's like, nah man, this thing's haram. I don't want to do it now. What the next day? Got, and the, next the next day, the next day he called me and said, This thing's haram, I don't want to do it. And then and then he called me the next day, he said, This thing's haram, I don't want to do it. Then like a week later, he called me, he's like, bruv, I'm stop, I'm not listening to music no more. Then, like, after that, he kind of went quiet. Then he's like, you know what? I'm going to do boxing because boxing's not haram. Um, boxing's not haram. You're, it's a sport that's not haram. You can still do. So I can still do something that I'm into. And then uh, and then about three weeks later, he's like, bro, I've applied to go to Mecca. I'm like, for real? He's like, I've applied to go to Mecca. I want to study Islam. I'm like, bro, I'm with you. He's like, bro, I'm coming back to you, you know. I'm not letting, he's like, I'm not letting the dunya get you, you know. This, he says this to me till today. He's like, bro, I'm not letting the dunya get you, bro. I'm coming back to you. Then when I called him, when he calls me now, he's like, bro, I'm just so happy you're in an Islamic state, bro. I'm so happy. He goes, do you wake up and hear prayer call? I goes, I hear prayer call when I'm sleeping, when I'm awake. He's like, yeah. He's like, oh, mashallah, bro, I'm coming for you. He's still on, I'm coming for you, you get me? I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. To Rask, like, make sure you're on Dean. That's what my brother's on. But Shim's cool, bro. He's he's good. He's really, 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 really good. Like he's teaching, he's, he's teaching the Dean. He's teaching English to, to, to kids that speak Arabic. Um, he's been doing that for like, like he's been doing that since then. So if you want to look at it since then, since then he has literally like changed his life. You get me? Got married, got his kids, got his all of that stuff. He's he even said he busts his joke to me like sometimes that like, blood. I come back, you know, I'd fuck up the thing, though. And I, we just start laughing about it. You get me? But he's like, nah, man, it's, he's good, bro. Like, that is my brother. Like, no matter what, I could not talk to him for five years, two, three. That's my brother for life, bro. Like, Alexis, that's my brother for life. You get me? So he's there. Like, it's not even a music thing with him. But he's there. He was a spinner, bro. He was actually a spinner. And he taught me how to multi. So Shimmer is the reason I'm... I, Shimmer is the reason I got... I became, like, a hard lyricist, bro. Because he literally was just like, yo, bro. I don't like the way you rap. He always, I don't like the way you rap now, nah, but I don't like the singles thing. You need to learn. And then when I started rapping in Morty's, he's like, yeah, my guy. Yeah, you figured it. You figured it. Yeah, yeah. And then, so basically, anyone who I ever taught Morty's, bro, that came from Shimmer. Dr. Anyone who ever... Like, uh, let me spark the mic up. Yo, crazy thing. You understand? Trying to ride a mic with no game. It's like, trying to ride a bike. Trying to, trying to ride a mic with no game. It's like, trying to ride a bike with no chain, no sense. Trying to rap with no brain. That's live when you ride a mic. The soul lane round. It would just ride a die. We don't play. You get blown like dynamite. It's no game. Quickly get knocked a guy. Quickly get knocked a guy. And then a strike a guy because of the type of guy that don't play. Youngest will pop off your chain. You in the four wrapped up in days. Round here, we got this music handcuffed and we're ready to lock up this game. Man said, round here, we got this music handcuffed and we're ready to lock up this game. We're business minded, trying to make peace, trying to stock up them peeps. That's probably why she's on the knees, giving non stop it. Like, bro, he was so, like, he was on the, he was on this, like, he was like, for example, that bar I just spat, the way he broke down that bar with me, he's like, bro, that bar is syllable for syllable perfect. Trying to ride a mic with no brain, that's like, Nine, that's 10 syllables. Trying to ride a bike with no chain, no sense. Trying to ride a mic with no game, it's like, that's eight. Trying to ride a, wait, trying to ride a mic with no game, that's like, that's 10 syllables. Trying to ride a mic with no game, that's like, 10 syllables. Trying to ride a bike with no chain, no sense. 10 syllables. Trying to ride with no, trying to ride with no brain, that's right when you ride a mic, your soul look like this. The syllable count is perfect. This is, two, we're back in 2007, and man's writing a bar to make sure mathematically, there's no syllables that are if the if the bar before has ten syllables, the next bar has to have ten syllables and it has to be perfect rhyming. If the next bar has eight syllables, I have to have two syllables. Like, bruv, what? Mathematically barring, but mathematical barring. No, no, no. That's what when man yo, I can't even talk about I can't even go to in, bruv, because the levels then this is two eight, two seven, bro. 
This is when man them are still doing and against. This is when man them are still doing. It's like and. Man, 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 and again, and then I come to, I go to Reading, and man, are like, yo, try to ride a mic with no game set, try to ride a bike with no grain, no set. I'm like, yo, what the, huh? What's what? Have I stepped in? Where have I gone? I'm cut. These niggas are rapping with content. I can't even think of, bro. When I went to um, Reading, for example, there was a brand called Rare Sounds, fam. I've never gone to an area and seen them like and, and gone somewhere, and a man is a celebrity. Bro, I've gone to Reading and this prayer was a celebrity off of banging R&B songs, fam. Like, everyone in Reading knew this prayer song. And when I'm listening to his songs, his songs are cold. His whole family sings. Big up Rare Sound, that's my nigga. Big up Mox. Big up Luigi, all of them, man, there. Everyone from Ross Clark, Coley. Everyone from fucking Cavisham. You, if you know, you know. Do you know what I mean? But them, man, there were like... The Jackson Fives in in two thousand in in two thousand and eight, fam. I told I've been begging Ress out to get me all of them old songs, fam. Because I will just I'll make him I'll relive them and make him Ross like, re-record them. He had some that fam. Them in Reading, they were just ahead. I think from even down to the way they rolled. With the first day I went to Reading to shot yeah, and I was and I was moving up there. I bucked Shimmer in them lot. Fam, they had like seven stolen cars out. I jumped in a car with them. We went down to Slough and they fucked up a whole youth club. Not fucked up a whole youth club rapping. Fam, I'm following these brothers. I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm rolled, but I'm not even rolled to the extent that these men are rolled. Man's pulled up to a, to a youth club and they walked inside like, yes, yeah, on. They just started beating everyone up, bruv. Mashing, mashing, mashing up everything. Like, I'm just standing like, yo, what the... Yeah, everything get mashed up. Man, come fight me, fight, fight. Yeah, mash, jump in the car. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Job done. Yeah, man, they're cool. Them, they, they, what was we? I think they, we've gone from we've gone from Redding to Brack um, Bracknell or something. And obviously, I didn't know Redding had beef. Them, them side. Yes, yeah, yeah. so them. So even down to how advanced Redding was at the time, I hadn't seen it in the ends yet. I, I, I'm, I'm in Stockholm. Man, they make jacking cars, and we ain't rolling around with stolen cars and doing the Mazda, doing mad Dre rides and that. I touched down Reading for a day and it's all gone mad. Like, I'm seeing shit I ain't seen before. I'm seeing barring levels I ain't seen before. Man's taking me to a field full of crops. Like, yo, yeah, this shit is hidden, but yeah, the feds, are, this is the feds crop field, but we jack it every so and so and so and so. I'm like, what? This whole, f- I'm, I've gone back to the, f- I've gone back to the ends and brought niggas to the field. Man's, they've just chopped everything down. Man's leaving with eight, nine bags of drove, fam. I'm coming back to the ends, man. Now, man, them are on me to take them back. Do you understand? I've given man eight bags. I'm going to studio. I'm saying, yeah, just bust me. Man, them ain't bust me with no paper. Man, them have gone back with eight bin bags worth of draw and ain't bust me with no paper. What? You think I'm taking man back? No, nah, man, I'm in studio, cuz. What do you think this is? What, eight bags? Eight bin bags worth of draw? Fresh. Dry it up now, man. Leave me alone. That's what I'm saying. Man, them really had what well, taken advantage of man from the beginning still, but it's all right, go, man. No, 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 no issues.